let's get started. Using base 10 blocks, compose two quantities from a real world scenario such as, Alan has 372 pennies in his collection. Josiah has 485 pennies in his collection. Who has the greatest number of pennies? Who has the least? Well, in our model, we can see that Alan has his representation three one hundreds, seven tens, two ones. Josiah has his representation four one hundreds, eight tens, five ones. When I line up my base 10 blocks, I can see that Josiah has four one hundreds, which is greater than three one hundreds. So I know that Josiah has the greatest number of pennies. So I want to model how to create a true comparison between the two quantities. And I want to do that with comparative language and with symbols. So we know Alan, 372 pennies is less than Josiah's 485 pennies. Using symbols, 372 is less than 485. Students can also use the dot method when comparing numbers. So if I'm starting with this comparison, I want to put two dots next to the number of the greater value. Then I want to put a dot next to the lesser number and I want to connect. I can also do this if two numbers are equivalent. So if both Alan and Josiah had the same number of pennies, I could put dots by each one because they're both the same number and connect. Here, students are going to compare numbers using a number line. Using a real world example, explain to students that a number line can be used to compare quantities. Let's use the following scenario. Mrs. Sanders' class has collected 435 cans of food. Mrs. Jensen's class has collected 416 cans of food. Which class has collected the greater quantity of cans? So we've drawn an open number line and we need to decide our intervals. So I'm gonna start my number line at 400 and I'm gonna jump intervals of five. Okay, here are my intervals of five. So I want to label the classes. So Miss Sanders class, 435 cans of food. So that's right here. I'm gonna put an S for Sanders. Mrs. Jensen's class collected 416 cans of food. Okay, well if 415 is here, I know 416 is probably right next to it. So I'm gonna put a J for Jensen. So now I want to model the comparison using my language and my symbols. So I know 416 is less than 435. And that's very easy for me to see on my number line. But if I want to use symbols rather than comparative language, 416 is less than 435. Students will continue to build upon previous knowledge by using number lines to compare and order numbers through 1200. Let's use an open number line and use the following numbers to compare and order them. So I'm going to start with 643 and then I'm going to place 816. But my next number, 879, when I place that, the location of my number previously, 816, would probably have to change. Then when I place my last number, 1,125, the location of my other numbers may change. This is important that students understand that the location of the numbers may change based on the placement of other numbers on the number line. Using previous knowledge of the number line reminds students that a number line shows numbers in order from least to greatest, but we can also use a number line to help us order from greatest to least. Let's use the following numbers, 228, 258, 428 and 458. 
Right now, these numbers are in order from least to greatest, but I can ask students to identify the greatest number on the number line to begin ordering these numbers from greatest to least. So the greatest number on this number line is 458. The next greatest is 428, followed by 258, with the least number being 228. So now I have my numbers in order from greatest to least. I can use symbols to make this comparison true. 458 is greater than 428, which is greater than 258, which is greater than 228. Students can also use a place value chart to help them compare and order numbers. Let's use the following real world situation. The librarian counted 842 picture books, 853 chapter books, 789 comic books, and 1,056 nonfiction books. Order the number of books from greatest to least. So I'm going to model what that looks like in my place value chart. The first number, 842, that represents picture books, 853 chapter books, 789 comic books, and 1,056 nonfiction books. When comparing numbers on a place value chart, you wanna start comparing with the largest values first, then move to the right as you encounter digits of equal value. So in this model, my greatest value is in the thousands place, and that's a one. So I know that 1,056 is the greatest value. Let's look to the right in the hundreds place. I have an eight, an eight, a seven, and a zero. Well, I know eight is greater than seven, which is greater than zero. So I need to move to the right to my tens place to see which number comes next. In my tens place, I have a four and a five with my eight. So I know 853 is my next number. Followed by 842 which then leaves in my hundredth place my seven, 789. To make this comparison true, I can use symbols. 1056 is greater than 853, which is greater than 842, which is greater than 789. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Elementary Math Minutes. We hope you'll find these videos helpful and we look forward to you joining us next time. See you then.